just got done watching The Big Green. Really good movie. I like that this guy, Lay, who is in Sandlot, is also played with the Resquants from the Sandlot in the same movie. And Buzz Hall, who plays uh, Alfalfa in the Little Rascal movie, is also in this movie. That's amazing. So, yeah, there he is right there. Great movie. She was also in the Kylie Ugly movie, Sing. And then you got the cop who was in, what's that movie? Police Academies? So, yeah. And then the guy with the long hair. I don't know where he's at. He was in Mighty Ducks, I'm pretty sure, when he's older. And this movie is pretty good. Would I buy it on DVD and watch it again? Probably not. But it was a good movie to watch at least once. So if you've never seen The Big Green that came out in 1995, please go watch it. It's a really good movie. And it's worth watching at least once. Or if there's nothing else on and you see it on the movie channels, yeah, watch it because it's good. It's watchable. It's good. But nothing I would want to get the DVD and watch it over and over and over again. But it was good. Hey, people. So what does it make sense at my work is people want to shut down. People are protesting at my college to shut down the the college and go on. They want it to be online only. And you know what? I think that's stupid as fuck. One, I understand why they're doing it. And I know why they want to have it happen. But also they're being selfish. They're like, well, too many people are getting the virus. We need to go on online only so people won't get viruses. Well, you know why people are getting the virus? Because you are not social distancing. You are not six feet apart. You're not... When you're eating in the dining hall, you eat in a big group. You don't eat in a small group. You move our chairs around. When you could just count and go, I need four chairs. One, two, three, four. Oh, there's four right over here. Why don't I just sit? Us four can sit right over here but still be distant. No, you want to be closed in together. That's why I think, in my opinion, they need to take the two tall round chairs and take, no, round tables and chairs and take them out. Because... People keep moving other chairs over to make it four, and then they're all closed in real tightly on those tables. Not understanding that that's for a two-person and on each other side. Not a one-person, not a four-person, not a three-person. That's why everybody that did that at that table, you're going to get the fights. Or that one person that ran up to her friend and go, oh my god, I can't believe you're here, what's up, how are you, I haven't seen you in so, oh my god, hi, I haven't seen you in so long either, and they're not social distance, they're real close together, then the girl decided to sit with her, and instead of social distancing, and having the chair six feet apart like they're supposed to be, she scoots the chair closer to her, like, really? The chairs are the way they are for a reason. That's why I wish they would just shut down the dining hall, take out all the, have all the table, all the chairs on top of the tables, and say, you are not allowed to eat inside the building, period. You have to get to-go boxes, everything to go, and leave. And then we will still have a job because we still have to clean the dishes to those things, make their salad, you know, make everything for that. Also, what's annoying is 
they're wasting the to-go boxes. If you're not gonna to go with them, you need to say, I need a plate. And we will fill up that plate. Even if it's for one item. Because you could just put, you know, give that plate to somebody else. Because we have to have gloves on for the things anyways. But I think it's kind of stupid that they're like, oh my god, I want... Like one guy, he didn't even care about the virus. And why we have things the way they are. And just put his hand underneath the glass and grabbed a silver thing. And I said, dude. I had to tell the guy, I walked over to him, I said, hey, please don't do that again. Just ask and we'll give it to you. We have this, now you just contaminated all the silver that's inside this thing. Now I have to throw away all these utensils. Thanks, bro, for wasting them. And he's like, you don't have to throw them away. It's like, yeah, we do, because we touch them with our gloves and give them to you but once you had your hands on them yeah the stuff inside isn't you know corroded with your germs but your hands are and if we hand that to somebody else then they're gonna have your germs on them and then if you had the virus and got it on all of those and then I gave that to someone else and they go I got the virus because of this place then it'll be that guy's fault get what I'm saying and before the whole virus thing happened you could do classes online with colleges so what do you need the protest for if you don't like how the college is handling the coronavirus and it, and if you're sick and tired of hearing all these cases about people having the coronavirus or getting it then stay the fuck home and either take a year off until the virus is over with or go online and let the people that want to go to school go to school because you're being selfish with your protest I mean I understand why you have the protest and you want to shut down the school the college but do you not understand that you're gonna leave all the people out of a job if you do that the people that are working the teachers they're gonna be out without a job the people that feed you we'll be out of a job and we got bills to pay we can't just go oh well the college is closed down let me just get another job it's not that easy there's a guy in california right now who lost his job over something stupid and is now trying to get another one and nobody is hiring right now because of the virus so yeah it's not that easy just to get another job so I think it's stupid that they think, oh, if they lose this job, it's okay. They got another job. They can get another job. No, we cannot. And, oh, it's okay. They can get unemployment. It's not that easy to get unemployment. So you got to think of that when you do protesting. Think of other people and their situation. Like, should I really just break this glass to this store just because I'm sick of the of people not doing Black Lives Matter and caring about us, so let's just break their glass and and steal all their shit inside and not pay for it. When, what did that store, think about that store, what did that store ever do to you? How was they ever mean to you? They probably never was. So you're not getting your point across by breaking the window, writing on their walls, vandalizing, you know, the signs in the buildings. Because they didn't do nothing to you. Make a sign of your own and put it in the grass or tape it to the wall or whatever. We have a couple houses down from us that is flaunting their Black Lives Matter by having a big ass sign in front of their yard. I mean, you you just want everybody to know that Black Lives Matter, and you want someone to come to your house and start shit with you because you have that sign there. Like, 
Black lives do matter. I, I like to treat everybody equally, respectfully. I don't like to hurt anybody's feelings. I don't care what color you are. I don't care if you lost both of your arms and you have to use your feet to eat. I think it's, actually, I think it's talent. I call that talent. That if you have to use your arm or if you have to use your feet to eat, to write, to function, I think that's talent. Because most people with arms can't even do that with their own feet. I call that talent. And yeah, I don't like how the cops are treating black people and how they're mean to them. I treat them just like, I don't care what color they are. I treat them like I would treat a white person. I would treat them like I see a Mexican or, or an Italian person or a Chinese or a Japanese. I treat them all the same. I just... The only thing I don't like is I love your guys' the people's accents. I think they've got the coolest accents and how they say words and stuff is cool. But I don't like that when they were wearing the mask and they have that accent, you can't understand what they're saying. And you guys need to realize that when you're wearing a mask, you need to talk loud so that we can hear you. Because we can't hear you with all the noise going on around us and machines going off to hear you tell us what you want. And when you come up, don't go, can I have a salad? Because of course we're not going to go, no, you can't have a salad. Of course we're going to let you have a salad. And don't come up to me and go, I want a salad. Oh, okay. Or do you want it to go? Or do you want it... Do you want it to go, or do you want it a plate? Are you going to eat inside the place? Here to go. Like, what? Like when you come up, don't you say, I want a salad. I, yeah, you want a salad. You're at the salad bar. We know you want a salad, because you're at the fucking salad bar, dum-dum. But what we need from you is to go or here. And then don't just stand there and... And then I'm like, which one would you like? Because we have spinach root lettuce and they don't tell us. And it's like, what the fuck? Or they come up to us and go, I want a sandwich. Or, can I have a sandwich? Like, you're at the deli. You're at the sandwich place. Like, okay, you want a sandwich. Gotcha. White or wheat. You need to come up to me and go, I want white. Well, I want wheat. Don't just go, I want a sandwich. No shit you want a sandwich. You're at the sandwich bar. Duh. And don't go, can with the machines right next to me, go, can I have that toast in? Well, no shit you can have it toasted, dumb fuck. Just say, I want it toasted. And then I'll toast it for you. Uh, can I, can I, can I? Now, the only thing you can be like, can I have this, is when you say, can I have three cookies? Because that, I can be like, no, we can only give you this many. Oh, that's okay, that's fine. You know, stuff like that. That's when you can ask that kind of stuff. And I don't just hand out silverware because what if they have silverware at their table already? Or what if they have silverware already in their room? What if they don't want a silverware? What if they already got one from a different... You don't want to keep giving them silverware. And then they have so many, they don't know what the fuck to do with them. Because that's wasting them. When we don't got that many to waste. You just give, you give them what they want and say, here you go. And if they want silverware, they will ask you. Now, if they get a plate then that's when you can say, would you like silverware with that? Because they may have forgotten to get one or don't have one or whatever. But if they're taking it to go, no, it's up to them to tell you if they want silverware or not. And so people just, they frustrate me because if you're one of those people who hang out in big groups and then go, I'm protesting the closest place. Well, 
you have no right to protest because it's your fault the reason why people are getting viruses. If you hang out in big groups, eat in big groups, and not wear a mask while you're with the big groups, then you have no need to protest. It's happening because of you. And every time I see that, I'm always looking at them going, you're the next ones to get the virus. Because you don't even read the floors that say, go this way, it's a one-way street, one-way walkway, go this way, you don't do it, and then we have little dots on the ground for six feet apart, you don't even do six feet apart, like, what the fuck, it's annoying, anyways, I'm gonna get going, I'll talk to you people later, and remember, wear a mask, save a life, and, and if you want this virus to end, stop being in big groups without masks, and make sure you're six feet apart, and if Certain restaurants have tables certain ways. Leave it that way because it's that way for a reason. And later haters.